Whether you're looking to start a career in web development to get high paying jobs or because you like coding or have a certain sense of job security, front end development is certainly a great choice, especially for those who are keen to work on more visual projects. But there are a couple of big questions, in my opinion. Like, what roadmap should you follow? And also, what is the roadmap that will make you a super desired developer by companies? If you didn't know this, there are so many options, so many technologies out there, programming languages, frameworks, libraries. So what should you learn in the end? That's what I'm going to reveal here, as this is definitely what I wish to know when I started in web development. Hey friends, I'm Stevan and I've been working as a software engineer in the EU and the UK around 5 years now. I happen to have been in your position in the past and that's why I'm here to help you get your first developer job. When it comes to web development, generally you have 3 options, front-end, back-end and full-stack development. In this video, I want to talk about the front-end development roadmap I personally think you should follow. I'll share with you the different programming languages frameworks and libraries you should start using. But apart from this, I want to show you a roadmap that will increase your opportunities of getting hired, as it is not really cool to invest our time in technologies that don't have a future for us. Okay, so let's start with the foundations. Every web developer should know at least in its most basic form. And that's how to use a code editor, the browsers, developer tools, the terminal or command line, how to use version control systems as well, like Git and GitHub, and also how to write HTML and CSS code. The good news is that I already got you covered with most part of the foundation, so check my videos clicking on the links I leave around here, somewhere around here. But now the most important thing you should learn is a programming language. Here there is a clear winner and obviously that's JavaScript. JavaScript is the programming language of the web and any modern browser runs it under the hood. In my opinion, JavaScript is the most versatile and amazing programming language as you can use it for backend, frontend, mobile, desktop development and others. But most importantly, the good news here is that there are an amazing amount of job opportunities. If we have a look at job opportunities in the US on LinkedIn at the moment I'm recording this video, we'll find around 136k positions open. In the UK, which is where I live, there are 14k positions open only on LinkedIn. I also had a look on Indeed in the UK and there are around 27k positions open. I hope these numbers convince you somehow because I really think it is quite amazing. Now that we have chosen our programming language, you need to choose a framework to be a true front-end developer. Whenever you start working for a company, they will for sure use at least one main framework or library in the front-end to build UIs. There are many frameworks and libraries to choose from, but luckily for developers now, there are has been a standardization, meaning that there are just a few super popular now. And the fact that these ones have gained a lot of popularity means that there is more documentation and more companies adopting this. Remember that. Hence, better for you to concentrate in only one technology that will get you a lot of job opportunities in the future. And the most popular ones are React, Vue, and Angular. And honestly, if I were you, I would choose React. Why? Well, because each day is being more adopted by more companies. In my experience, I've seen a lot of companies change their entire code base to use React or just start new projects with React and deprecating all their projects with older frameworks. If you are not convinced yet, let's see how is the job market for this one. So I just did a quick LinkedIn search and found that there are around 93k positions open in the US only and 11k in the UK at the moment of recording this video. If we do the same with Angular, there are around 4k open positions in the UK and 4EA in the US. And clearly we can see that there are more job opportunities for those JavaScript developers that use React as a main library for building UIs. If you thought that that was it, well, nope. There are other frameworks and libraries you should learn within the ecosystem of JavaScript. Now, these ones are not fundamental to know as a junior developer, but if you know the basics, it will set you apart from the rest of developers. Okay, so one of the main technologies you should learn is unit tests. And if you want your code to be production ready, meaning without bugs or at least the less quantity as possible, unit tests are the way to go. You could learn, for example, Jest, Jasmine or RTL, which is React Testing Library for uh, React applications. One of the most important things you should learn after unit tests are end-to-end -end tests in my opinion. And this one allows you to test your interfaces as a normal user would do visiting your website on a browser. And one of the most popular tools are Cypress and Selenium. In my opinion, nowadays Cypress is most used by companies. Okay, so the next thing would be styling libraries and CSS preprocessors. There are a few preprocessors 
processors and libraries that will make your life easier as a developer. And these ones are SAS, Style Components, Material UI, and Tailwind. A lot of companies use this one, so you might want to learn at least one of them. Okay, so the next technology you should be learning are SSR frameworks, and some companies will use these frameworks to create SSR applications. Nevertheless, I don't think it is so necessary to learn this starting your career, but the main frameworks are Next.js, Gatsby, and Remix. If you like this video and it has possibly helped you on deciding what roadmap to take as a front-end developer, definitely support this channel by liking, subscribing, and leaving me a comment. I'll definitely be happy to answer any questions that could help you getting started as a front-end developer. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.